Hello, Chris. So, been fiddling around on this. So, uh, these high two strings. You don't have those, so, so let's ignore those. Turn them out there. So you have, those are the four you got, four strings you have. So, um, all right, so the easy, the most simple version of this is to do a two string rock power chord, right? So it's our the ship that launched a million 90s rock songs. Anyways, you just have the finger and then two frets above on the next string over. So you can do, you're playing those two string chords. Right. So but what you can also do is, because these these chords are a root, a root, and a fifth. So if it was a C chord, it would be a C and a G, right? So that is enough to say that it's a chord. So. there. Um, then what you can do is you can alternate the root by itself and playing the two note chord, so like this. So that can be useful. Obviously that's that's in 3-4 time, that's a waltz there, but you know, you can do it the other way. 4-4. Four, four. Is the alternating the root chord root chord? Now, instead of the two string chord, you can do a three string chord. But you can't really play all this simultaneously with a bow, but this is often called a fifth chord, three string power chord. So, so with that. You have root, fifth, and octave. So if you just play the top and bottom string of, together of the two, it's just an octave stretch of, of the same note. So arpeggiate it, you can hear root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth. So if you alternate the root, and the top two strings together, what you're getting is the top two, fifth, and then the root again. So, once again, same thing with the timing. Of course, the beautiful thing about power chords is they're movable, right? So, if you get it in one place, change shape or anything, right? So You get the idea. So that one's the two and three note power chord alternating bass chord, bass chord, bass chord. I've gotten a lot of mileage out of that. Uh, it'll do a lot for you. Um, let's see, what else have I done? So you can also just do like... You're just like... Kind of a back forth, back forth, back forth on like a two two note chord. You can do a lot 
out that way. Um, lower sounds meaner. So that is, I'm doubling the bass, dip, dip, and then popping over to the chord. Also, just sustain two note chords, you know, like. Out of tune. Oh well. Um, you know, just like you can sustain a note. vibrato on fretted bowed instruments. Not a clue. It comes natural on cello and stuff because you have to do that to make it sound in tune. On these, um, I think you're supposed to do something like this. That's some sort of blues guitar bending or something. I don't know how to do it. So anyways. So I want to show you, you know, uh, you know, think when you're doing, when you're doing like spiccato, staccato, you can intersperse held chords and notes. here. 